you now about another Mary in the 6th century. Can you say the 6th century? Right now we're in the 21st century, isn't it? Mary was a young woman, and let me tell you, there's no other way to say it. There's no polite way to describe what she was. Mary of e Egypt, Mary the Egyptian, was a prostitute. Are you hearing me? And she was not one of these hidden prostitutes, one of these women that pretends to be an honorable woman, but she's just actually a prostitute. No, Mary will even tell you. If you ask her, anyone ask her, she'll walk up to you, she'll say, yes, I'm a prostitute. Are you kidding me? She wasn't lying to people. She was given, she had sold herself wholeheartedly with all her mind, all her heart, to the spirit of lust. You know what is lust? Lust is unbridled desire, isn't it? That desire which you feel and you don't even try to restrain. You're kidding me. Now in the Bible, let me tell you something, lust can sometimes be good. The New Testament says the man who strongly desires the office of a bishop or a pastor, strongly desires a good thing. And that word for strong desire is the same word that Jesus used in Greek for lust. It just means strong desire. But when your strong desire is directed at a good object, that's good. Like your education, isn't it? You pursue it because you have a strong desire, isn't it? But when your strong desire that you find you have gets misdirected at the wrong thing at the wrong time, or maybe it's the right thing, you're kidding me, something God even designed for you to have, but the wrong time, and you don't restrain it, you don't use that wisdom, now you can be overcome. Instead of controlling your lust, the way a man controls a hunda or a horse, now your lust is controlling you. You're kidding me. But if we belong to the Lord Jesus Christ, we should be masters of these desires of ours. Are you hearing me? Now we make mistakes. Solomon says, a righteous man can stumble seven times, isn't it? But what's the difference? The righteous man gets back up again, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Now Mary the Egyptian, she was a young woman. She will come to you, she will say, I'm a prostitute. I'm a prostitute. She wasn't ashamed. One day, she was there in Egypt and she heard that some people were going, a big crowd of people, bigger than this, were all going to see a piece of the cross. Back then it's only 500 years, less than 500 years after the time Jesus was crucified. So they had there a piece of the cross in this church. And people were coming to see that wood where Jesus Christ was crucified on Salaba Yayesu. Sindio, are you hearing me? Yes. Do I have your attention? So Mary, the Egyptian, she thought, this is interesting, let me go with these people and I'll continue my prostitution even I don't have money, but I'll use my prostitution to pay for my way. She's not ashamed, and I'll go see this cross. I'll go with these people, it's like a festival. It's a feast. Let me go. So she went, she went, she went, she went, she traveled with them, doing these wicked things. And as she comes near the door of the church, Mary the Egyptian, you said power of the cross. Uh, power! Uh, power. Uh, in Greek, uh, in Greek, the word is iskoros. Right. Now that power stopped Mary when she tried to turn to walk into that church to see the cross upon which Jesus Christ had been crucified. She turned to walk like this. But she couldn't see a man, she couldn't see an angel, she couldn't see anything, she just felt power stopping her. She tried again. She tried to walk in. You're kidding me. A third time. She walks. Everyone else is going in like nothing is happening. Like nothing is happening. You're kidding me. So now Mary, she says, Hey, uh, what is this now? What is this? She, she, walked away from those people, she was feeling fear. She was feeling holy fear. You know what is holy fear? Yes. 
The fear of the Lord is the beginning. The fear of the Lord, again, is the beginning of wisdom. She felt that holy fear. She wanted to go in that church. Something is stopping her power. She cannot resist. She prayed. She said, God, oh God, have mercy on me. What have I done? Show me. And that same power which stopped her from coming in the church opened his heart to her. If you have a Bible, turn with me to 1 Timothy. You know, there are two Timothys. We're going to 1 Timothy. Please, if you have a Bible. I have my marker here for you. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 15. The first epistle of Paul the Apostle to Timothy. Now Paul is talking about himself. He's writing to Timothy. He says, this, verse 15, this is a faithful saying, a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. Listen to me. Accept, acceptation, it's, it's an old way in English of saying, you should accept these words you're about to hear. Accept them. We have been commanded by Paul. This is a faithful saying worthy of all acceptation. That Christ Jesus came into this world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. Paul is talking about himself. You see, Paul in his humility, because the spirit of truth was upon Paul, he didn't try to whitewash his sins, he didn't try to cover them up. He said, me, I'm the chief, I'm the governor, I'm the prime minister, I'm the president of sinners. You're kidding me. You see, the power of God, the power of a Christian, doesn't come from puffing yourself up, from making yourself to be what you are not, but the power of a Christian life, not only in salvation, but as you go on in your life, the power of sanctification comes through confession of truth. Even when the truth you are confessing makes you look bad. Let's <laughs> You are kidding me. How do I say for plural? <laughs> Monaskia. <Yeah>. Monaskia. <laughs> that power comes from confessing the truth. Now, Mary the Egyptian, just like Paul, 500 years before, she confessed the truth. And the spirit of power came on her, not in judgment that she was feeling before when she tried to walk in that door, but in forgiveness. Amen? In repentance. You see, the scripture says in many places, in many different ways, those people who push themselves up, who exalt themselves, will be humbled. But those who humble themselves will be exalted. See me Another time, Solomon says, in the presence of the king, it's not good to walk up to the front. Go to the back! Go to the back. So then the king can call you forward if he wants to. You're kidding me. Humble yourself in the presence of the Lord, and he will lift you up. Mary humbled herself. She was a prostitute, she wasn't lying, she humbled herself. Power of forgiveness, power of truth came upon her. The power of God. And then Mary walked back to that door. No one had seen what had happened, only Mary and the Holy Spirit, the spirit of power. The spirit that killed Ananias and Sapphira, if you remember from the Bible, because they tried to lie to the spirit of truth. Now that spirit of power that had prevented Mary was with her. She was forgiven. And she walked into the church. And that same power that was preventing her before, now it was like strong arms, big arms, like, like arms of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Chuck Norris, something, pulling you, pulling you. You're kidding me. Steve Austin, right? Pulling her into the church. <laughs> Invisible arms, the everlasting arms of God, amen? amen? Pulling her into the church. I won't go through the rest of the story. Mary went from there. She went to the River Jordan where Jesus was baptized. Mary was baptized, filled with the Holy Spirit. You're kidding me. She went into the forest for many, many years. We would never have known the story of Mary, the Egyptian, how she repented 
if it wasn't for many years afterwards, there is to a put in front of your eyes here. repentance. Repentance. We're going to talk to you today. We're going to divide. And we're going to talk to you specifically about what you should not do and what you should do. And to consider one another, especially in terms of your sexuality, the dignity of your sexuality, the same things we were talking about. And we want to address some of your questions. Monica and Jane will be talking with you young ladies. So just be open with them, okay? And don't mock one another. If someone has questions, if you laugh, we'll mock you that you're not a grown-up person. <laughs> you, get you look like adults to me, but do, so don't, don't act the way you look, okay? Okay, even you young men. Don't be afraid to ask questions when we go there. But repentance is paramount. We all fall, we all make mistakes. That is not the reason to despair. Nonetheless, simply because God is forgiving, do we make that an excuse to do stupidity? To do sin? Say, God forbid. God forbid. God forbid that we should sin that grace may abound. That's what Paul says. So God is forgiving, but it, you know what? Especially when we have been warned, especially when we know better, when we have the advantage of knowing what other people didn't know, now we will be accountable. Now, yes, God can forgive us, but He'll make us pay a price. You're getting me? In this life. Are you understanding me? Yes. I want some feedback. Are you understanding me? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. God bless you. May God bless the reading of His Word. Let's pray together. Father God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, we come before you. We thank you, God. We are your offspring. We are your creatures. Those of us who are baptized into you, who are Christians, we are Christians. We are anointed ones. We thank you for your Holy Spirit and your chrism and your anointing that you have given us. God, help us now and help our hearts to be fertile, to receive your word and to be truthful like Mary the Egyptian, who was dirty and became brighter than any of us here, Lord. According to what you know and what we know, Lord, we thank you for her example. Help us to imitate her. In Jesus' name. Amen. One more thing, one more thing before we go, young men. Proverbs 31, 8. And mark this one in your minds. You can even write it down. Proverbs 31, verse 8. It says, open your mouth for the dumb in the case of all such as are appointed to destruction, open your mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and the needy. Let me borrow this. These are the dumb. These are the poor. These are the needy. These children cannot speak. They are defenseless unless we, big people, defend them. Sindio. They have no voice unless we give them a voice. God is commanding us, open your mouth for the dumb. Now, they deserve to be defended, don't they? Just like anyone else. Are you kidding me? If someone attacks this beautiful young lady here, we should defend her. She is innocent, isn't it? Also, these children, they deserve to be defended. Everyone deserves the same defense as the boy. Amen. Thank you so much. Young men, let's go this way. The free one deserves the same defense. And it's a little bit more than a little bit of a little bit Kama, usi cheke, because ameuliza swari mzuri sana about family planning. As we are students, simbi nili students? Yes. Munafanya family planning kwa nini? No answer. Sindio? Family planning. Wanauliza kama family planning, kama ikona matara yote. Yes, of course. Matara iko kubwa sana ya family planning. One. Ukienda ukiwa mdogo hivi, in fact, under 20 years, uanza kufanya family planning. Kitu ya kwanza, wakati utaolewa, hautapata mtoto. Kwa sababu imekuwa ribu. 
Kisha kuharibu. Second, umepata cancer. Cancer itakuwa iko treated? No. Hata hata mimi hata mpata cancer utafanya nini? Utakufa sio? You Okay, we must get. Ah, that part of cancer, you are you are gone. So we are far. So, if we need Ghana, we are family planning as ladies. We are very beautiful. Nani is that a kufanya arusi? Kuakanisa. Sikila mtu anazata kufanya arusi. Kuakanisa singo. Namba na tu diaribu. Nani ataki kuolewa akiwa baji? Nani ataka kuharibu baji miti yake? Nani anataka kila wakati kitapata bwana? Si sasa umepata bwana si kila mtu obvi asataolewa. Nilisikia mm -hmm. wengine watakuwa sisters, wa which it is good. Wengine watakuwa madaktari, wengine wataolewa. Hata ukikuwa daktari utaolewa, si ndio? Mm -hmm. Nani anataka kuharibu? Hawa vijana, wateni ni waibie sisi tutatumia jina gani tutumie jina kulima atakulima akulime akulime na ni mmoja tu anakulima yeye kwake atakuwa ni bi bingwa cuz atakuwa anasema hey mimi nimelima na demo tano lakini kwako umekuwa kifagio na si ati ati amekuja ati akulime alafu ati akuoe hakuna kitu kama hiyo anataka akulime yeye mwenyewe akue akuwe bingwa haya we umelimwona huko umelimwona huko umelimwona huko utaenda kuwa na HIV STD gonorrhea kama ugonjwa mingi mingi hata zingine zimekuja sasa hizi hata tuzijui zinatoka mavidonda huko ndani zinatoka ma pimples huko hata ukienda kutibiwa hakuna hakuna matibabu. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu umejiharibu. Umeenda kwa ule kijana amekuwekea stands. Iko kwa mwili. Umeenda kwa mwingine umewekea stands. Ujui hizo ni maugonjwa unawekewa. Second wanasema it is good kutumia kondomu. Why? It is good of course it is good because it can prevent. But why are you using condom? Because that person want to use you. Because he has another person, he has another lady, he wants to use everyone. Sindo? Mm -hmm. So the best thing is, if a boy, I'm a kwambia, I love you, don't just say, yes, yes, I'm in love. No, that is nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> if a boy loves you, na wakati umefika wako wakupendwa, tell him, you love me, ya, tuende kwa wazazi wangu. Jamaa kama ako serious ataenda. Kama ayuko serious atakuwa mteja. Unampigia anakuwa mteja. Unashindwa kwani kulienda aje. So, huyo si mtu. Wacha tuwaita wanyama. Hawa wanaume ni wanyama. Wanataka kutumia bajimisi yako kwa kudamu. Wakati utapata ule mtu real, ule bwana yako real. Saizo umeenda na wanaume kama watano. Wakati utapata mtu wako serious na hata ni yeye anakuambia I love you nataka twende kwa wazazi wako tupange harusi nini nini Mkienda kwa wazazi mnapanga harusi nini nini wakati wa kuolewa inafika Si pale pa mahadi tutapaita aje sasa juu pa mendo sijui na tutapaita aje si wait good wacha tupaita hivi juu tutapaita si wait saa hizi Juu pametapaka, pakona kila aina ya vitu huko ndani. So sazire umepata ule mze wako, aenda na hali. Hata kukubali? Hata kukubali. Na huyo ndi alikuwa roho yako, ndi alikuwa ubavu yako, utafanya nini. So let us maintain our virginity. It is very special and it is gold. Let me tell you, this thing is gold. Mwanaume yata aneza kununulia anything. Anything in this world. Kuwi nini? Gold. We are gold and we are very beautiful. Nani anataka kujiaribu? Hakuna mtu anataka kujiaribu, singyo? So, family planning, X. Na yule mtu anakuambia, 
fanya family planning anataka kuadibu maisha yako either it is your mother either it is your father either it is your friend anataka kuadibu maisha yako why nimewaambia mtaenda na kansa ukipata kansa mama yako atakusaidia haezi kusaidia rafiki yako atakusaidia hawezi hata iwe nani na nani wewe utakufa na hiyo kansa yako na utazikwa haya wakati utakuwa nasikia mpaka kulia wakati utaolewa umeolewa ushatumiza mafamilia plan ni kwa mdogo wakati umeolewa unataka kupata mtoto si ni mtoto wako mm-hmm. si mtoto wa mama yako ama wa friend yako si ni mtoto wako mm-hmm. haya umeolewa utapata mtoto ulijaribu ulijaribu tambo sana na ujui unaenda hosi watu sijui mnatumwa medical sijui mnatumwa wapi but already ushajiari kwa sababu ulitumia hizo vitu ukiwa mchanga ukiwa bado young ustahili kutumia hizo family planning ukiwa young na nimewaambia disadvantage ya kutumia hizo method za family planning na kitu ile important sana ni ku avoid cancer si ndio <laughs> haya kuna mwingine ameuliza What are the dangers? Hiyo nimewaambia of family planning. Ati What harm did they give during the fight? Sasa hiyo nitawaelezea. Hiyo si tambi pakati. Haya what causes civic cancer? Hizo nimewaambia. Hizo zina zina nini na hizo family planning. Ingawaje kuna hata food zingine I think whatever. Kuna answers zingine siwezi jibu hapa hivi kwa si uko sure of them. But ninataka kuwajibu zenye niko sure of them. So avoid family plan. And if a boy loves you and it is the time of you getting married, you just take him to your mother. Some of us maybe they don't have mother, they don't have father. You can take them to your skuna brother ya babako. You love si unawapenda na kuna yule you, you trust unaweza mpeleka kwa your uncle even if your uncle is not there there is a priest father anakubarishwa ako na right ya kukupeana kama wewe uko offered ako na right ya kukufanyisha harusi kama wewe uko offered so msikue na stress because i'm orphaned where will i go let me use myself for nonsense that is nonsense Nastia. So I think Papa Dio tongeze tukingine hapo. Ndio tuendele. Mimi ana mama na wife, niko na watoto wanne. My first born ako for mom. So so nyinyi ni watoto wangu, si ndivyo? Siwezi kuita sisters, you my children. Si ndivyo? Yes. So nasikia tu vizuri nikiwa bele zenu, nikiwaongeresha kama watoto wangu. Si tutasaidiana. Ah, uh, ningetaka kusema hii ni nafasi nzuri sana mmepewa juu the baby says what do I lost kwa kuto utojua si ndivyo mm-hmm. lakini kwa nyinyi naona mko na bahati sana juu mmepewa hii nafasi hivi nikaweza kusikia mambo yenye iko si ndivyo mm-hmm. kama sisi labda tukikua juu mimi niko na miaka mingi hata mkimbia tukikuwa hatukuwa na nafasi hiyo atichure atitunaitiwa watu wanatuongelesha but god is good sikupotea nilikojea mungu nikapata bwana na hata sikupata bwana nikiwa mdogo nilikojea wakati wangu nikaoleka nikawekwa pesa lakini sio hii ingine inanisumbua kwa kidore so niliwekwa pesa so ungetaka kuambia kila kitu na wakati wake si ndivyo kwa hivyo mkitulia tu hivi msome vizuri mmalize shule si inasemekana na bill kwanza not yet born but had some ones hawajafanya nini hawajazaliwa bado si ndivyo ndio hata wenye wamezaliwa for now si wako na wenzao ndio hata mkiona wakiwa smart nyinyi mko na hiyo nafasi ya kuwape hapana si kazi yenu sasa ni kusoma msome tu kabisa vizuri juu bila masomo these days sioni ukienda mahali 
So nikataka kuchukua hii nafasi at least niwasaidie kidogo tusaidiane kidogo na ile experience niko nayo maishani juu niko na miaka mingi nimesikia nini ni watoto wangu serious ile nini ni watoto wangu tu kabisa hata sioni haya nikisema hiyo ah kwanza ningetaka tu kuongezea kuhusu hii family planning kulingana na vile hiyo hata inajielezea vizuri ku plan si nivyo ku plan ku plan nini tuseme una plan lesson si nivyo eh kuprani vile utapanga shaba yako si kuprani vitu mingi inaingia hapo mm. so sasa ikiingia hapa ya family planning kwa wanafunzi huwa nashangaa na shindwa na plani hii seriously eh kwa kwa nini kwa wanafunzi kuna kuplan family hmm? una plan ume, umezaa nini kwa plan eh hata kama ni msichana amemaliza shule tuseme hata university na hana bwana ama hajapanga kupata familia anafaa ku plan hebu mm-hmm. ni, niambie ni serious ile anafaa ku plan ana plan nini si mtu ana plan kitu yenye amefikia wakati ule mm-hmm. eh sasa hiyo mambo ya kuingia ati mtu anakukaisha tu chini hapo anakuambia ati plan ya family family plan ndio inapelekana kasi ni family plan kweli mzazi serious ile mimi ni wazazi kama ni kuplan lesson hapo tunaweza ongelelea lakini family mna plan nini eh nani hapa kwa na bwana hebu niambie ni tu saa hii eh nani yako na yeye na msiniambie mambo ya boyfriend eh nani yako na bwana juu hata kama ni boyfriend huyo mtu akikuzalia mtoto na ako shure ama hata hajasoma ni kimtu unakutanaka nafsi ukienda home eh huyo anakusaidia na nini seriously atina na kwa mtu na ndio na mtu atukurani fani na huyo mtu atakusaidia ha tuko pamoja tunasaidiana hapa na kama naongea vibaya kila mmoja wenu wakati mama aniambie na watangani kama sisemi ile inafaa family planning inaplaniwa na mzazi si nipo bibi na kwa wakati wao umepika wafanya nini wa kufanya nini ongezeni hapo ku hiyo mambo ya kusikia tie kama mimi mimi niko na impact she is a girl my first born ati nikaisha chini ati tunimeona ametoshana na nini impact ata ni kwa kushinda anakuwa ati nikaisha chini nimwambia ati sasa my daughter i want you to find your home a family plan yeye hapo ninasaidia mtoto wangu nimesikia madhara ya family plan wacha tu ni pitie pitie lakini umeelezea tu vizuri sana si hivyo sasa ukikuanzani ile hata huyu mtoto hata mmoja atijunataka hizo la zako atijio sasa atiwishi unaonekana mjana nawe sio msichana kuna haja eh kuna haja kwa roho yako unajishuku si hivyo unajua kabisa kabisa wewe sio mradi wewe sio msichana tuseme ukweli wewe ni mama tunakuona tu hivi tu wewe msichana mzuri na unafilizia wewe sio mama kama umeanza Sinibo. <laughs> Ha? Hata kama hutapata hiyo goal na uhodi unafikiri uta, uta, utazuia na hiyo nini family plan? Eh? Hayo magoja tumetajiwa hapa wengine wakaogopa. Hata jina kasikia tu kama anawezalia akifikiria tu vile vitu ziko saa hii hiyo itakushika. Si ndio? Maisha yako umeipeleka ume wapi? Na haitachagua hata kama uko shule. Utajipata hapo tu mwenyewe na unajua ikikushika imefanya nini? Ati hata ukiambiwa uendee kidawa hiyo itasaidia kweli. Ita utaishi kukumbuka utilifanya nini? Hmm? Haya, kutoka hapo. Sasa umekuwa vizuri. Si uri family plan. Eh? Tuseme mwenye ali family plan. Mwenye alitanganyiriwa hata kama ni anti ama mam a family plan. Sasa ki family plan tuseme amefikia wakati wa kupata watoto. Haya, ati tumepata bwana. Na niambia bwana yako sasa nataka kupata ingia kwa nyumba mwaka umeisha miaka mbili imeisha juu ulifanya nini ha sasa ukaje ni maisha ya baadaye juu ulifanya nini juu ulifanya ni plan 
wakati huko una, una nini? Unafaa. Unaona umeharibu maisha yako? Nani hajataka kuwa na watoto wakati wao? Ha? Si unaona kama mimi najivunia niko na watoto. Si ni nani hataki hiyo? Si hata wewe ulizaliwa? Nani hakuzaliwa hapa? Sikila mtu alizaliwa hapa? Ha? Sikila kuna mtu mwenye nini? Alijipata tu akiseme hii alitoka wapi? Nani hajui hapo? Sikila mtu alizaliwa? Ha? Nani? Hakuzaliwa? She's not normal. Hapo tutaangalia hiyo anaiona imefanya nini labda tu mungu akuhurumie lakini saa zingine tusichezeage mungu ati tunajiingiza kwa vituko ati ndio sasa tuseme ati mungu atuhurumie na saa hii tumewaambia kama hujui hujui na kama umewaambia alafu ujiingize unafikiri hapo hata utaweza kupiga magoti uanze kuambia mungu ati mungu nisamehe eh si ndivyo hiyo haiwezekani alafu tena unaweza pata mtoto mwingine yako na na deformity si mnaelewa eh alafu utasema ni nini? Sasa unaona unajiingiza kwa mambo yenye ungezuia. Ha? Si ungezuia? Kama ungefanya hiyo fa, hiyo madawa inaenda kwa mimi yako. Kwa nini usigojee wakati ufao ufamilia hiyo plan? Hmm? Uplani hiyo family. Ha? Si unaona sasa upate mtoto mwenye utaishi kuona ama asiweze kusurvive. Hiyo tena ni matozi. So, I think maswali zetu zimeisha. Swali hili. Hai. Hai.